So this is the Bluetooth FM transmitter and it does pretty much what it says on the tin. Um, you connect to it via Bluetooth just as you would with any pair of Bluetooth headphones or uh, anything like that. And it will convert the Bluetooth signal to an FM signal and broadcast it out so you can listen to it on your car stereo. It's got a, a rubber outer edging here which allows you to turn the volume output up and down and also change tracks quickly left and right so you don't have to uh, fiddle with your phone while you're driving which is all good it's quite a dumpy little thing you can see here it's uh, not very pronounced it's not going to get in the way you plug it in and it will immediately start flashing if, let's just put it in straight because that's going to bother me otherwise uh, it will start flashing which means it's not connected to bluetooth uh, right at the moment so we're going to go onto the phone and we're going to turn on the Bluetooth because uh, with it turned off it's not going to do a great deal. So we're just going to turn the Bluetooth on and that will hopefully, um, if it doesn't connect to my car first, will connect to the IF53, which is a great name for it. I'm going to turn on my discoverability as well <clears throat> and it should then connect to the device which is flashing away um, beneath me. There we go. It's connected to the media audio now. And we can see on the device itself, we have 87.6, which is the frequency at which it is outputting the FM signal. So what you do, go on to your radio, and uh, you will find, have a tune around, and you should be able to find a, a free frequency where there's nothing being sort of uh, broadcast, uh, where there's no other stations, so there's le as little interference as possible. 87.6 now sounds like this nothing and what I need to do then is get my phone and I can let's say um, come onto YouTube or I'm going to go into in this case I'm going to go into TuneIn Radio and I'm going to put an online station on or I would do come on any minute now that's not a good example is it that's Radio 1 let's put Radio X on because Radio X is a digital station and it doesn't broadcast digitally um, to my old school FM radio because I don't have a digital radio in here but you can hear there so that's now broadcasting whatever my uh, sort of uh, phone puts out um, by, by the Bluetooth to the iClever Bluetooth transmitter and then out through um, FM and I can do the same with YouTube. I can play. You go. So that's an FM um, output of a YouTube video. I'm just going to turn this down because what I found in the past is that YouTube picks up these audio tracks and says I'm breaching copyright when I actually um, play this. You also get this little remote control, which is very fully featured. I must admit, you can actually put. Um, it, you can put a micro SD card in here and you can have uh, the folder change as well you can make a call you can pause the track if I press pause it should stop the uh, music from playing obviously it might not do that in YouTube so let's just uh, switch to my music folder so a lot of you you may not want to use your mobile data and listen to streaming radio because uh, you will chew through it quite quickly so I'm gonna go maybe to mp3 uh, no, let's go to download because there's a rather good podcast on here from um, a website called Cool Smartphone. And you can see if I press pause on here, it's going to pause um, this, hopefully, if I point it at the thing. There we go, pause. Play. And turn it up. And joining me on tonight's podcast, we have Matt. So, Hi, Matt. Pause. Hi, John. Thanks for having me. Put it and play again. Pause and play again. He also got a graphic equaliser button, which um, doesn't seem to do a great deal. I'll point that there. I don't know what that does. So I've had a read of the instructions, which are uh, just not too brilliant to be honest. These instructions are kind of basic, to say the least. It's about three pages, and it just tells you um, where the micro SD card slot is, uh, the LED screen. Uh, there's the microphone, by the way. You can see. I'll, I'll show you pictures of that. Uh, the microphone on there, so you can make calls and receive calls. That seems to work rather well. And most cigarette lighter um, ports are quite close to the driver anyway, so you can hear quite well. Um, it's important to get a 
good frequency which is clear and doesn't have in any interference uh, because you, you will get some background noise otherwise and you get some other stations crashing in you can hear you can see there this is how you answer the call you just press that button there to answer a call and make a call and here you can change the frequency as well if you want to change the channel so if I press uh, channel up you can see that's now changed well, you would be able to see to 87.8 this is on 87.6, so I need to knock it up, 87.8, and then we go, we've got it again. So it's a fully featured remote control here, but it's a great little uh, gadget for uh, basically letting you listen to the music on your um, phone without having to faff around with a 3.5mm audio hookup to your radio or anything else of that nature. Uh, the instructions are uh, minimal, to say the least. It just tells you to pair up and how to adjust the volume of the output. You can sort of uh, adjust that here, and it will adjust the volume. That's 30 um, output. That's the loudest it will output at. You can turn that down if you wish and adjust the output volume. It's nice and loud, and um, I do find there's still a little bit of background noise here you can hear. You can just about hear there's a bit of background noise there still. But overall, uh, for listening to your tunes on the go, it's a nice little, uh, nice little gadget, I must admit, and uh, I'm quite impressed with it.